analytics, uh, well, Sasan spreads actively towards all possible directions, including its sliver of, 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 of codes and number of developers. Uh, there's also a problem of how to efficiently teach it, or what is better to say, to teach how to efficiently apply it. This is sound course aimed on electronic composer and uh, sound designer. Should be as clear and simple as possible, uh, but uh, the other side, on the other side, it should uh, include popular synthesis techniques and a number of, of codes to work with. In my today's paper, I'm trying to develop some personal vision of uh, teaching to sound for sound production students. I'm glad to present the St. Petersburg University of Film and Television and put its name on the international map of uh, the sound world. Our university was established in uh, 1918 and uh, in the first several decades its main focus was on technical education and uh, in, the field, in the field of uh, film production. During the post-Soviet period the university spread its focus mostly in the field of screen arts including film directing, camera operating and some others. Uh, of which one of the most popular is sound production. I have graduated the Institute of Audiovisual Techniques and uh, a year ago I successfully finished my PhD work about wavelets in perceptual audio coding. Now I'm working in the Department of Sound Technologies where I'm responsible for my own sound course uh, named Computer Music Technologies. The course of uh, Computer Music Technologies, uh, which program I would like to share here, is quite new and I could say experimental. Myself, as a main lecturer, was granted some degree of freedom to develop the study plan according to my own taste. I had a strong interest in sound synthesis, so I decided to take the sound as a cornerstone of the study plan. Sure, you would like to know some details about this course. The majority of my students graduated from music schools and colleges, uh, so most of them already had classical music education. Such students uh, choose sound production specialization mainly because of desire to achieve some technical skills and practice in sound recording and production. The number of students on course is about uh, 15 to 25 persons. The course lasts for two terms. There are several lectures and practical blog. I'll show you the study plan a little later. To start speaking about this course, uh, I would like to outline following issues. Uh, you can see them on the screen. They are the background issue, the interface issue, the starting point issues, and the language issue. Sometimes it is not easy to overcome all of them. And sure, it heavily depends uh, both on teacher and student. Uh, the teacher's ability to find a useful way for making it simple and clear for understanding, and student's ability to spend some efforts on a path to the new knowledge. After the issues named the issues of initial study, some of them unfortunately remain until the end of the course. The positive factor is the, that all of them are related to each other and success in one field hopefully leads to uh, overall progress. To my mind, one of the most difficult obstacles in a way of understanding the sound is the so-called background issue. As I already mentioned, most of my students typically graduate from musical schools and colleges, so they lack for technical vision. AC, DC, ADC, ADC, DAC, VCA, DCO, all of this often leads to complete chaos in the unprepared student's head. How to overcome this obstacle? I used to spend a lot of time during all of study period to discuss basic and the preliminary, preliminary notions again and again. I used a lot of graphics to describe everything and I tried to avoid big long formulas if possible. Function tables, sampling theory and carried signals are not so very difficult if to discuss them at first in the most simple form. The sound is not a sort of signal processing, it's not just a sort of signal processing and since of this utility, but also the way of different thinking about the nature of sound. Surely, in most cases, it is absolutely new conception of working with sound. Without any doubts, almost any aspects of modern computer work are based on point-and-click philosophy. So such radical change of interface takes time to become familiar with it. During practice, we are working out the syntax and connection of modules. In the sound, everything could be connected to almost everything, and it is quite an unusual conception for students, and uh, that needs to be practically proved and improved. The next one is what I call a starting point issue. How to begin to develop one's knowledge? Let's uh, take the, uh, some more examples. But to find an alternative <laughs> explanation of the theme, or simply, uh, what should I do that I don't know sound? I'm sorry, I need some water. Uh, 
I travel to uh, Hanover was uh, quite difficult, so I went to the tower. Pardon, I would like to discuss several points I used to make accent in my course. Uh, the first point I would like to share is a modulation practice. I used to give a number of special tasks working on the modulation principles. They basically targeted on finding out the tasks for working out the modulation principles. Uh, they are basically targeted on finding out the source and destination. Signals used for modulation from proprietary and levels. Uh, so, analyzing signals with some particular features. You can see uh, some examples of such tasks um, on the screen. They are envelopes of signals to be created in the sound using complex modulation as a part of modulation signal practice. Uh, the sound signals inside the envelopes are arbitrary, up to the generation could be a part of another task. Uh, for example, signal A envelope corresponds to series of pulses modulated by frequency using saw wave. Uh, signal A envelope, uh, signal B envelope corresponds to two-stage am amplitude mod uh, modulation with appropriate bias given. And signal C envelope corresponds to amplitude modulation using saw wave, with, uh, which is modulated by frequency with pulse wave. Same pulse wave changes panorama of a stereo signal. The examples of alternative uh, music score notation prove that electronic sound demands its own language of description. Uh, the good solution for representing synthesized sound with dynamic spectral behavior is a sonogram, also known as a spectrogram. A spectrogram, as a result of a time frequency transform, could provide both temporal and spectral information about signal. Some signals, which features uh, seem to be quite obscure in the time domain, uh, could be easily analyzed in the time frequency domain. I use visualization as an important tool for sound design. The approach I show with students is to make a signal in time frequency domain before beginning to synthesize it. In practice, I recommend to fix desirable sound in memory, uh, to draw corresponding amplitude envelope and to draw a spectrogram for understanding the dynamics of uh, the frequency components. Uh, when the shape of the sound is fixed in such a way, it is time for selecting a proper technique, uh, technique for its realization. Almost any sound program provides means for calculating a sonograms and uh, could be used uh, by students. Uh, while the sound and cute sound uh, also include some means for signal visualization, uh, most of uh, my students prefer to use audacity for its uh, simplicity. I could mention here uh, that some students begin their electronic composition from graphical scores, which are the most cases, which are in the most cases uh, related to time frequency domain. The real world examples uh, greatly help to connect the theory with practice. To my lab, I have several hardware students in my uh, home studio, so I can show uh, some, uh, some popular models like the Mach ITX uh, H1Z. Uh, time after time to illustrate some of the particular features and to make possible uh, for students to try programming hardware. There are several practical tasks for modern sound classical synth. Fortunately, this sound catalog provides some nice models of several popular synths, uh, such as uh, Hammond uh, with Lester Speaker or Roland uh, TB303. Moreover, we analyze it uh, to better say make a reverse engineering of some classical electronic timbres like techno bass sound, uh, trance leads and uh, so on. Now you can see the estimate study plan. Uh, the order of uh, synthesis methods presentation is rather ordinary, beginning from additive synthesis uh, through subtractive frequency modulation, sampling and physical modeling, uh, finishing somewhere behind granular techniques in the second uh, origin term. 
The following scheme is used discussing all models. Theory, some, histori some historical background, uh, block diagrams of uh, typical instruments, uh, the sound realization and exercises. I think that it is important to notice that the sound plays here the role of unified language of uh, formal description of different uh, synthesis and uh, sound processing and algorithms. To successfully pass the course, all students have to do several projects, including final work, which they perform in a, uh, in a form of a small concert. Usually students can choose one of a uh, few tasks. Uh, the examples of these tasks are to create or remake some electronic uh, composition using the sound, to translate a classical music composition into electronic domain, to create uh, a collective uh, intercomputer performance based on OSC network, uh, to create an algorithmic model or total serial model with description and short score example and so on. To uh, sum up the course's details, uh, I should make the following main features. Every year the course ends with a concert, uh, where students have to demonstrate their electronic music works. Around 90% uh, of uh, students uh, successfully pass the final test. After finishing the course, students are able to use synthesizers to create uh, multiple chambers and sound structures. Uh, the, sound is connected, uh, the course is connected with uh, several other disciplines like uh, synthesized sound in film production and uh, modern tendencies in sound processing. Some students uh, use the sound for designing soundscapes while working uh, with study films. In the conclusion, I would like to make sure that this course is quite new, so if you have some advices or ideas, I would gladly ask to share them. Of course, uh, there are a lot of problems, there are a lot of issues, more than I listed, there are a lot of uh, points of accent, uh, there, are, there are a lot of uh, technical um, aspects, uh, but of course, um, it's about um, answering to some exact questions. This point concludes my today's speech. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Any questions are uh, welcome. Uh, um, there's no sort of uh, big uh, sound um, computer music uh, society community in Russia, just a few people. Uh, they are quite um, just separated uh, and um, there are just some centers um, that people work with uh, sound synthesis. But um, the number of people who work uh, on sound synthesis on the um, level which is uh, quite like this, I mean, uh, technological level, not only uh, just uh, twisting knobs, but uh, with some thinking, with some uh, programming, uh, the, the number of uh, courses are really small. I suppose there's a sort of uh, basic uh, mm, course in uh, Moscow Conservatory, uh, but um, most uh, in a way of uh, uh, introduction to the sound, like, uh, just to demonstrate the existence of uh, such problem. So, so let me just extend my question. Do you know, do you have graduates and do you know what they are now doing? Uh, yeah, uh, since uh, my uh, alma mater, my uh, university is uh, University of Film and Television, uh, most of them are working on um, uh, sounds for film, for films, mm. but uh, among them, the sound is not really spread. Just, uh, it's sort of uh, extreme. Yeah, well, my question was not really about C sound so much as about the new technology graduates. So, more questions? I think 
it's wonderful your attitude because um, so you see sounds make uh, the students understand the music synthesis. And I imagine most of the students who come, they just want to record and mix and then make some midi sample music. Uh, they sometimes say that, oh, why do we need this uh, complicated stuff and uh, how, how do you is overcome these problems? Well, this is the main uh, problem. <laughs> this is the main issue. Yeah. Uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, there are open-minded students, uh, which is um, open, uh, they are open for everything. So sound, but even they uh, take the sound as a sort of uh, extreme program. Because uh, in the end, they used to say, okay, I'll take a new endo or I'll take a few bass and um, we'll uh, make a sort of a sound uh, texture track for possibly one hour or two hours. Uh, but uh, if to use the sound, you need to uh, have some instruments or you need to produce some instruments uh, to connect some modulus or you even uh, you need to download some uh, popular instruments and then you need to score uh, to try the score file uh, but uh, I'm working on it because uh, uh, around uh, 10 or 20 percent of my students are former musicians uh, most of them of course, most of them, as I already said, are musicians, but uh, those 80% uh, are targeted on uh, mainly film music. But uh, some others are interested in uh, music in a wide form. So there's a change uh, that uh, among them, uh, there are some people who are, get really interested in the sound. Yeah, I see is your course mandatory for the people working with sound? Or can it, is it something that is voluntarily? So I'm uh, talking about motivation and the empathy for it. Do they uh, know what they get? In the Russian system, educational system, mm -hmm. there's no such courses uh, that um, are optional. So this course is for, they should pass this course to get a diploma. On the other hand, <laughs> on one point, this is nice. Because uh, all of them have to learn the sound at least for two terms. But on the other side, uh, there's a lot of uh, people who suffer. Any more questions? examination, but um, I prefer to uh, leave it for students to choose whether they uh, pass the exam, uh, like an ordinary exam, like uh, could you please uh, uh, write down some opcodes which you know that uh, could uh, use uh, useful for subjective synthesis or something like this. But uh, most of them prefer to take part in a concert. Yeah. And for taking part, they need to choose some of the uh, tasks. So and it was some I can say, uh, so conditions for, for the uh, 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 pieces must have uh, so yeah. satisfied. Uh, let me return to my uh, list. Uh, it's not here, but uh, in my uh, presented tools, there's a list of uh, projects. So I will uh, write them again. So uh, some examples of uh, artistic works are um, OSC network composition, where students uh, have to write a piece for uh, spread uh, computers, like the orchestra of computers. Which are OSC network. Uh, so, of course, uh, the accent here is on implementation of uh, OSC in the sound, but not on the artistic part 
But um, another task is uh, to, to, uh, to use uh, FM, only FM synthesis, to create uh, electronic composition, or to use only granular techniques to create the composition. So here's the accent more on artistic form. So uh, everyone could choose which is uh, closer to she or he. <coughs> Uh, I'm uh, Wolfgang Mott from uh, Freiburg Music Academy. I have a question um, for the students of composition in the Russian conservatories, for example, St. Petersburg and yeah. Moscow. Uh, has there a possibility to study also electronic music with C sound, Max MSP, and all these uh, things who are available? And is there an uh, association of Russian composers for electronic music like in Germany, the Dig, and do you know this? Could you spell it again? Uh, the first, the first no, question. No, the name of composer. My name. Yeah, composer. No, I, I asked uh, the students. Just, just about electronic. Oh, okay. The students okay. of composition. Yeah. Of studying composition, yeah, not yeah. not applied for film or television, but let us say autonomous composition. Have they possibility to have a course like your uh, course on uh, C sound? Yeah. Uh, I will. Uh, I'm going to tell you uh, a short story uh, to answer your question. This is quite an interesting question. Um, I tried to apply uh, to uh, the sound course in uh, St. Petersburg Conservatory and um, I found a pro quite, quite progressive professor, very young professor, and uh, I described the situation that uh, I had in a course in my university and uh, I already have a degree and I'm ready to uh, accent, to, to revoke this course for composers, for classical composers. And uh, he said to me that, uh, okay, you may try, but uh, I, I, I'm going to warn you that uh, as soon as you uh, write down the sample theorem on a, a desk, you will lose all the auditory. So, just he mean that on the next uh, hour, on the next class, I will uh, find no, 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 no one. So there's no interest. There's no interest in the students to learn this. Uh, possibly, uh, sound synthesis by itself is interesting for them, but on the level of uh, twisting notes, uh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. oh. This is so wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to, to have some little result without making efforts yeah, to understand what is happening. You know that if you want to work with the sound, you have to just um, you have some preliminary notions, at least preliminary notions about uh, signal theory. Yeah, yeah. So. It's, uh, it's funny, I, I, will, uh, I will back that up with one experience where I was teaching, I was invited to teach in Chile, they brought me down to do a C-Sound workshop because the main professor wanted to learn C-Sound from me, so I was there for a month at a music camp. A room of composers come in for my class, they're there to study composition, I taught one class, started about C-Sound, and the next class no one was there. <laughs> for the rest of the month, I was paid to just teach the professor. <laughs> <laughs> and all the students yeah. came back, and then I went to their final concert, they were composing great stuff, and the worst part was, the private composition teacher finally talks to me on the final night, and he says, oh, I love C-Sound, I use it all the time in my compositions. And I said, well, why weren't your students in my class? Well, <laughs> he wasn't teaching it, and the students, really, the sampling theorem, I didn't put that on the board, but I was showing them, here's what we can do. They didn't come back. Actually, there were like two students who stuck around, but, you know, yeah, I really did clear the room. It was amazing. So, I don't know what it is with serious composers, but... Uh, you said, uh, you have 80% um, of the students are musicians. Do you have some students that are uh, programmers? Yeah. Uh, this is a quite interesting part of my auditory. Some tech guys which uh, decided to apply for sound production discipline just to try themselves uh, in a. Uh, so, you know, you could go to film music from uh, artistic part and you could go with, uh, to 
in production to some in production from the technical uh, background. And of course, these guys are quite more uh, progressive in the sense of connecting modulus, um, using uh, C sound manual without any problems like OK X amp. It means that it could be K amp, A amp, or A amp means that uh, it should be audio signal, nothing more. Uh, but uh, on the contrary, on the other side, uh, they have uh, no artistic views. M most of them have no artistic vision of the uh, situation. So uh, they could really be, they could be really catchy in the sense of uh, a certain point. But uh, they asked me, what now? Okay, I can connect everything to everything. I could, uh, I could use the sound. I could use always scenes sound. I could use MIDI with the sound. I know I learned uh, some sound uh, techniques, but what now? I'm not composer. I'm not going to compose. So it seems like uh, there's no, not not that there's no future in uh, their knowledge. They're quite um, obstructed in the sense of future. Good. Thank you. I think your your talk and our questions and the discussion nicely points out that music technology is an interdisciplinary field and it's, there's definitely challenges to combine. Thank you.